All right, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 16. I've come fully prepared today. I've got myself a good old shot of coffee here to make sure I wake up properly. And I've got several waters. And uh, thankfully, the bathroom's not too far away because it's going to be a long one today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for those of you who are uh, following along with us here on the channel for this game. I honestly... This game is longer than I thought. The more I look at it, I actually just did officially some research. And I think this is like a 30, 40 hour game. This is going to be pretty insane. But the story is sensational and I'm actually having quite a blast. Currently, our main objective is righting wrongs. We have to make for Northreach. I knew I had these due to the digital deluxe, but I just, for some reason, I didn't really look into it. So we have three things we can actually claim the first one is the scholar spectacles which increases the amount of xp earned by 10 percent i might be using that eventually once it starts getting a little bit harder to level up but we can claim this item then you have the the kate sith charm which is uh, increases gill earned by 25 percent right now we don't have a problem with gill so far so i'll be not using that at the moment and then we've got brave hearts which is a sword okay if we go here to the gear brave heart is this sword unfortunately it's not as strong as my flame tongue but uh take a look at it <laughs> that is a crazy weapon i don't know if i'm convinced that this is exactly where i should have fast traveled to oh god we're by ourselves yeah stay down punks Get him, boy. Get him. <clears throat> All right, so we're going left. Uh, Actually, never mind. Oh, we're not. We're not going that way. We are going this way. So I don't know if Final Fantasy has ever had a... If it's ever had a thing where, like, if you're not high-leveled enough, you can go to certain areas or fight certain bosses. Um, hopefully, this doesn't happen in this game. If it does, it does. We'll just probably have to grind off screen or whatnot to level up. But man, I really, I'm not a fan when games do that. I like, like, you know, when you're close, you're like threading the line. There. Northreach. Oh, wow. Sheesh. This is really nice here. Ooh. Hold on. Is this a free item? I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. Sharp fang. You know what? I'll kill a couple of fangs. Why not? Why not? Get him, boy! I love how he just kicks on. <laughs> Damn boy! This respect is it's pretty serious with Clive. It's over. Ooh. What is that? A falcon punch? Shit. All right, let's get it. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. Damon's friends in the south. What did you say was in these pines? Give me one of those hams. Well, well, it's like a plum for the apple of your. Also, oh, we gotta search for the dame. Uh, maybe these guys can tell me something. Welcome, good. Uh, back off, Brandon. Can't you see I'm with a customer? Wow, that is ridiculous so insulted right now holy smokes you there. if the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne where in the world is the dame let's go over here there's a shop on this side oh nice fast travel there's a merchant let's see what can i do for you uh 
see what we have right now is so good i don't even know if before the storm adds a new song to the hideaway honestly how is that worth fifty thousand? that's ridiculous i'll be here if you need me oh my oh there she is we got her we got her boys now what can i do for you we got her um i should probably sell the bastard sword shouldn't i maybe thank you you're welcome so the dark sash i doubt you'll get more than that in the capital so this that's the best i can do come back again thank you all right where's she at a fine dame they said let's check it out A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. Beautiful indeed. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Whoa. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Seductive. That's the name of the game. You say these are all from Dalmechia? The fruit's not getting any fresher. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. Mm. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Hmm. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up.
Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. Yo, the disrespect is wild. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. <laughs> no, it does not. Right, let's get it. So apparently this game is already in development for PC. I read it today in the morning when I woke up. Or just recently. No release date yet. And if yet. anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Mm. <clears throat> the moon and stars from Isabel. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I should probably start here. So, righting wrongs, uh, the dame, aid Isabella in finding Tatian, and investigate Tatian's whereabouts. Here we go. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatian. She's still missing then? Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm... Told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she 
say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatien <laughs> and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. <clears throat> did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Hmm. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Okay. Well then, I suppose you're needed. So we've got to go now and investigate the garrison. This is kind of like that mission from the last video. We found the old man and... You know, he ended up just... I'm not gonna spoil it, but you know what happened. It almost felt as if uh, it was all for nothing. I've heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil then, is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <clears throat> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. Yo. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Look how cool that is. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So I guess we're headed out. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand. And he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. All right. That's the day done then. All these people always asking for favors, man. It's driving me insane. So speak with the Bertrand and more. Excuse me. Think I might see you tonight. Bert. Oh. <laughs> Depends on how much you want to see. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where am I going? It's over there. How do I. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's funny shit. Orifla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Oh shit. Look at this, huh? With the freaking castle in the back. Shit. Let's go. New enemies in the horizon, I suppose. 
this ought to be quite today, interesting. That, that's a fucking cool view, man. Imagine having a castle next to like a massive crystal like that. Oof. I like the... I like the music here. They're treating the branded like pure shit. I just want to go over there. Kick some ass. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Mm. I see. What is this guy? A merchant. Oi, don't touch anything. Mm. Battle chains. Thanks for nothing. Sorry, dude. You don't have anything worth it. What do you want me to do? Your shop sucks. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? A trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't. F What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, well, 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 why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. Mm. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. Hmm. All right. Dude was acting all, all crazy and shit. As soon as he finds out we come from the dame, he's eating out of the palm of my hand. Despicable. All right, so. What way is it? Is it through there? Let me just grab this. Man, I like this background music. It's so tense. Couple of wolves there. It smells of death here, Togo. That's probably the girl. Oh man, that would suck. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Oh my gosh, is that? Were they having like some sort of love affair? And then they died. What happened? You know what to do, boy. Stay down. Stay down, punk. There, boy. Get him! Get him, boy! Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> That's it. You 
know what to do, boy. What a freaking move. Sick of Dorbo. Oh, man. I'm so happy I unlocked that one. A lot of skill points to get it, but it was well worth it. So, we're level what? Uh, I think level 21, 22. Sharp Fang and uh, Bloody Hide. Yeah, that's them. Damn it all. Oh, that's her. Bodies. A man and a woman. Oh, shit. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. Look at the comb. Wow. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Hmm. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. Wow. Well. Okay. Something here. Is she over here, Isabel? She is. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, my lady. Of course you could, had it not been personal. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but. You needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Yep. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. A weathered comb. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Alright. Honestly, that was actually pretty cool. 
like, I know it's one of those quests where it's just hunting for evidence and blah, blah, blah. But that was actually pretty cool. I was not expecting this person to be dead like that. You know? So, level 22. Meteorite. Now we leveled up. Okay. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Hmm. Alright, so how the heck gather at the abandoned chapel? Can we fast travel? No, we cannot. So Alright, up through here. It's a little passageway, a little road. Yeah. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. What's going on with you guys? Always talking crap about me, man. The dame said you would be coming. Your friends are waiting at the chapel atop the hill. Go now. Let's go. Oh, dude, I love the music here. Shit, I've said it like five times, but I'm sorry. I really do. Gets me like, gets my blood boiling. Ready to kick some ass. You know? Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Hmm. Shit. I feel like this is about to get gnarly. Oh, yeah. It's like these people don't really have no... They, they have no need for uh, electricity. Really. Use those crystals for everything. The pleasure houses. That looks pretty fancy. This reminds me of like some sort of Assassin's Creed environment. Safer place in the Empire, than it? Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. Well, it is rated right M for mature. Mm. So then. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. 
and may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahama, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools and the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried. Nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So you best make ready. The world won't save itself. Man, this game is so big that I wonder if this is all of the map, or if I wonder if we'll actually, I mean, these are all probably, yeah, you know, this is probably the map, because right here you can tell, this is like a significant area, so is this, this is the volcano, I think that's a volcano, and that, I believe they've spoken about that, I guess we'll find out, yeah, and this, this is completely undiscovered yet, alright, here we go. You've reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Oh shit. Let's go. A pivotal moment in the story. Wouldn't you fucking look at that? Drake's head. So the calm before the storm. We've passed the calm. Now we are in the storm, I presume. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. No, oh, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow mm. and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Mm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. <clears throat> and if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Hmm. The 
Crystal's curse. Here we go. Come on, this way. <laughs> Try to stay out of sight. Let's do it. Obviously. Mm. Don't worry, the passage is empty. This is gnarly, dude. This is this is uh. I like this. Oh yeah. Some drama. As long as nobody dies, we're okay. And I'm not guaranteeing any of us that. All right, no more fights, empty. Let's get this over with. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Let me look into something here, because we have this band. Alright, increase attack by 7%. Excuse me, not 7%, 7. But I think I want to do XP for a little, unable to change during. Okay. I'm going to do that. That's the change I'm going to do. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was freaking quick. Quick work. Excellent. Increase potion. You know what? Actually, I'll do this for now. Hey, what happened there? Yeah, fuck okay. it. Guess breakthrough here. I haven't done that in a while. They never stood a chance. Absolutely. Welcome. Why are we pretending to sneak? Tunnel. We know that there's people here. We know this. There are sentries everywhere. Okay, well maybe it is a good idea. This is massive. Never mind. Much bigger than I thought. Some sort of underground mine or some shit. All right, come on, come on. Yeah. So I ended up taking off the potion one. They Actually, 20% to the potion is really, it's a really good portion for health to potion ratio, but... And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain! To arms! Summon the cannonade! There we go. Get him! What's up, boys? Why is he not hitting him? Kill me? Sick of toggle. Get him, boy. Get him. That's it. Hopefully the uh, XP boost helps us, you know. I don't get more ability points, but hopefully it makes a difference. I can always have a difference in leveling up. think it is oh no it's not he's still big as fuck but i think this may be the moment mm. i was talking about earlier what have we here more insects come to be squashed you will find my mortar and i only too happy to oblige we were talking then let's shut him up ah, i like that you stand no chance, but I, I'm sorry. You really don't stand a chance. Not this time. Not 
this time. Oh shit, maybe. Okay. There's somebody there as well. Oh, that's her. Never mind. I thought that was another enemy for some reason. Get him. You feel like. for this. is fucking nuts, man. Okay, so you dodge that, going sideways. Fuck. Go. All 
Alright, it's, it's go time. It's go time. Actually, it's not go time. He still has a shit ton of health. That's insane. Freaking crazy. Oh my. <sighs> the favor of uh, the Inferno. Hmm, that's an accessory. Increases ignition damage by 12. Sounds pretty good. That was technically two bosses in the second I'm phase. Used to that. The classic or no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Second Come phase on. was much harder. Like, wow. Ugh, you just have to be aggressive. You gotta keep attacking. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Mm. Oh, that's it. oh, sorry. Mr. Kurt. Yeah, so I, I, I want to go to my abilities here real quick, and um, I want to do this fireball. That sounds like it's probably. So use L3, L3, limit gauge is filled to semi-prime, improving battle performance for a short period of time. That's what we already have, which we can upgrade that. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna grab this. I feel like, uh, summon a storm of fireballs. So is that an actual ability? Like, do we have to, I don't know. I mean, how good is that? Let me try it. I'm going to try it for... Mm, damn, I don't know that was going to be like something that you completely... I'll try it out. It's not... I don't know if it's as good. But I'll try it out. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to have to replace one of those. Ugh. Um, upgrading this must be awesome. But also this one. I might like to upgrade this one. Uh, let's keep going. I'm going to hold up on some of these abilities here. Ah, <laughs> oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. Said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what he's done to everyone else. So, <clears throat> I was hoping to get some potions here. Right, we got a high potion. I mean, we did just go through hell. <clears throat> That'd be nice. 
potion and a high potion. Not, not nice enough, though. <sighs> oh, shit. There they are. Oh, the miners. The gods. Too far gone. Let's see what this does. This constant damage thing is. How long does that last? I mean, that's pretty helpful. Is it like non stop? 12, 12, 12, 12. That's pretty good. They were there to keep the people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Sick of Toggle. That's enough. And it recharges really fast. Huh. Might be worth it. We'll play with it for a little bit. See how it treats us. Yeah, it almost lasts the entire time it's charging. And then by the time it's charging, you can use it again. be a passive ability that we can just spam i wonder what happens if you upgrade it does it last even longer or does it like increase the damage of the fireball damage because it doesn't do a lot it's like 12 but it's constantly but didn't we come from here i'm going crazy okay. sorry about that got disoriented there for a second Was it salt? I don't know. I'm gonna zip it. No interruptions needed in these incredible cutscenes. Uh oh. Doesn't look that far. Right. This is not good. To me. I'll take that as a thank you. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Got more miners here. Uh, a war cry. Some opponents will use the ability war cry to in invigorate themselves, enhancing the performance in battle. Look for the icon and try to defeat them before they can deal too much damage. Get him, boy! Get him! Oh, that dude did a lot of damage. Holy smokes. 
I should have used this earlier to regenerate my health. Fuck. Sheesh, man. Okay, good. I've got another potion. I need potions, damn it. Alright, we gotta go under there. There's another... Hmm. Steel silk. There's another item back there. Let's see. Hopefully that's a potion. Give me a high potion. Come on. Please. Just... Gil, are you kidding me? Man, that's some trash. That's embarrassing. I'm doing pretty terrible in, uh, in health right now. I don't want to use the potions just yet. It's, it's, I don't want to say it sucks, but it's like, it's a bummer because I can't really use that ability unless I'm fighting. It doesn't regenerate. Like automatically, you know? You have to be fighting in order for it to start generating. What is this? Okay, so I think that's where we have to go. So maybe. Yeah, that's our destination. Maybe go over here and grab this item or something back here. This is the one that we couldn't get from the other side. chest here nice 10 chunks of wiring oh it was a potion all right we got four potions that's good and uh oh, this time. Not another one, please. That's probably more like a... I don't think that's the same type of boss we just fought. No, it's not. Take out the small fry first. Sick of Togo. Get a point. Shoot, dude. That's enough. Get out of there. Uh, 
head away from there. Get him, boy. Dead. Man, those things are annoying. Whew. Wow. Sheesh. Somebody bring me a challenge. You know, I had to probably not say that because uh, it's been pretty uh, darn challenging. So I'm just going to shut it just in case. Potion, please. Thank you. We're gonna go through there. Yep. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. Ooh, the coral sword. What is that? It's blue. I don't think it has good, but uh, 185. Okay. You know what? I think is is blue better than purple? That's that'd be kind of weird. Huh. Really? I mean, it's more damage. Try it off a little bit. On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. That's a good one. Once more. Hi. Seeing as you're trying now. Aren't you guys like, you know, you guys have these crazy powers. What are you doing using physical kicks? This is ridiculous. As if that was going to keep us out. Alright, so we are in dangerous territory here, my friends. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Hmm. Oh shit, nice. Almost four. That's good. That's what I like to see, damn it. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Big, but this there, that's our way into the inner sanctum. Something tells me the boss here is going to be freaking difficult. <laughs> You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahamut ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Crystal, the path of the goddess. That sounds nice. Oh, oh what's no. up? What's up, boys? There's something you two want to tell me? Maybe later. Oh, fuck. It's over. Let's 
constant 12, 12, 12, 12. That's gotta be helpful, man. It's like extra mosquito bites. <laughs> That's enough. There, boy. Sick of toggles. But how could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? The two places connected somehow. Yeah. They have to be. Crazy. That's like this is like the bottom of what we see through the outside. You know how you the iceberg, you've got the top, and then you've got like under the iceberg how huge it is. Alright. One more time for good measure. Get him, boy. Stay down. Do this to regenerate my health. I mean, it's also good. Do more damage. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Fuck. You know what to do. Was that guy a lot harder to beat than I? I don't know that he should have been. I and mean, he wasn't hard, but it's like his stagger was easy, but his health just wouldn't go down. Shit. We're not even at the boss yet. What's going on here? Should I just like quit when I was now? In the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. <laughs> oh god. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. <laughs> Let's just be careful then. Let me guess. We're about to fight the Guardian. Yeah. <sighs> if I fail, then... I ah, whatever. It is what it is. We, we're actually not looking that hot right now. To be honest. Yeah, this... this that's gonna be the Guardian. There's just... Where did that come from? Oh, fuck off. If I had to guess... Poor beast. 
Another victim of the flood. Poor beast. Poor us. Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Always. Get him. We gotta hit the head. That's ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh,
What happens if I try to hit one of those? That didn't work out. Try to parry it. Oh my god. Risky business, I tell you. breaking down here. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Hmm. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. <sighs> Clive. Hmm. If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. 
being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope, in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was, thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? I don't know, bro, we're not ready for this. Like, if there's another, or just one more boss, we're screwed at this point. Really. Hmm. Yeah, there's no map, there's no traveling back home. There's <laughs> no, no going to a merchant to buy some potions. There's none of that crap here. We're almost there. Anyone having second thoughts? The inner cell me. Okay. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? With you to the end, Simba. Sorry, I was thinking about the Lion King for a second. Don't know why, don't ask me. Just random, random thoughts in my head. You know, trying to keep busy from that kind of ass whooping we almost received. Sheesh. Hmm. Bro, there's no way we're not about to go crazy right now. There's no way something crazy is not happening. It's beautiful. The heart of Sambrek. I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. <laughs> Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Taya's going to have a fit when she hears about this. You Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. You better not do anything stupid, dude. Kill himself to destroy that thing or whatever. I don't know. Looks like Zeus. Definitely a bigger sword. Uh, that's more like it.
hasn't truly mastered that yet, has he? Not like Sid, at least. Where the hell am I? Oh my gosh. What the fuck? I'm not fighting this thing by myself, bro. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's not doing it. I've been here before. Uh, shut up, Megan. further in. He's <laughs> like, alright, fuck it. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Get out of my head. I don't answer to you. I'm moving. One way or another. Too slow. Fuck out of here. Probably shouldn't have done that. staff oh boy sorry bucko you gonna give 
that to me. <laughs> the power of lightning. That power isn't mm -hmm. yours. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like, bro, these moments in this game are just ridiculous. Like, you cannot fucking deny this. This is this is crazy, bro. Is this what the cool kids call gangsta? You know? I remember now. Oh, I have a fire. That's right, baby. Let's go. Let's kick that ass. Whoop that ass. And rip that ass. Let's go. So, embodying effort again. Okay, fire, uh, melee attack, range, evade, and jump. Ability mastery is shared with Clive. Okay, what is this? Uh, Backdraft. Press triangle after executing a fireball burst. Okay, the iconic version of Clive's magic burst. To perform a devastating melee. Alright, so this is... Just burn over to extend the distances, hold to lengthen duration. Oh, that's cool. All abilities uh, available while embodying if it can be confirmed in the abilities in the town. That's crazy because now we're like the same size. It feels like we're not even that big. Look at that shit. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Oh, he just clapped me up. the left stick while holding circle as an effective method to avoid Typhon's wide scale attacks. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Is he 
charging up or what? Final form, it's gotta be. That is insane. I feel like the other one was way too easy, you know? I was like, eh. Oh my god. And now he's got. And now he's got good hair. As you wish. He's much bigger, too. What? These dudes are here.
Typhon as Vanquished. I wonder if we get any of his abilities. It's like a demon or some shit. That was weird. The Breath of Fire, Flames of Rebirth. Reduces Flames of Rebirth cooldown. By 12 seconds. <laughs> that was like a test, huh? Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. Think I'm gonna let you have him. What the fuck? That shit's weird. Think again. No, dude. Sig. He's done. Try not to talk. I don't know if this is the appropriate music for this moment. It's like lighting, lighting, and lighting, lightening, lightening up the mood. Clive. Where it shouldn't really be doing so that. long. I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Oh, wow. He's gonna give us his powers.
Ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Uh... Well, Sid dies. Now this guy introduces himself, and there's. Dare I say we've been speculating that's that's Joshua. Oh, okay, so they're they don't even know. Damn. My gosh. I'm sorry, Clive. Hmm. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. He knows him, watch. Yep. That's him, dude. What the heck? Do you remember me? Bro? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. Wow. That is him, then. I know you're there, Ultima. Have you learned, Phoenix? Bro, what the fuck? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. Hmm. But know this. Yo. If you want him, <laughs> you'll have to go through me. <laughs> That's wild as hell. Hey, the breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. Getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. Hmm. And I said no. is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Bro, come on, wake up. You gotta see this, bro. You, you've gotta see this. Probably gonna wake up and have a feather, dude. So Sid dies, but his brother is reborn. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Yeah. <sighs> 
Well, Joshua's got to be. No. Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend. This is truly insane. Like, this is... That shit just vanished, like... That is crazy. So what's gonna happen with uh with Joshua now? You know? This is in the hideaway. They've attacked the hideaway. Oh my god. You hurt me! No shit. Must fail, Lord Cook again! Find shit! Are all fucking dead! Sid, help us! Where is he? Ah, you'll do! Oh my gosh! Bastard! <clears throat> his eye out. Damn. Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Crazy game. Crazy, crazy game. Hmm. Oh, where are we? The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Job Make a nice steak, gift to your wife. Sausage, huh? All from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll nice. find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives, uncle, Look what you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, ointments, ointments, poultices. It's Assassin's Creed shit. What? That's awesome. Unguents, ointments, poultices. A thief. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, Five years later. Whoa. What? It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. 
and I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Took it off. Kupka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Hmm. I wish you could, like, toggle the hood on or off. That'd be sick. Just don't say I didn't <laughs> warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. This is insane, bro. This guy's got to be so crazy powerful right now. I mean, five years later. Oh, my God. What just happened? Mm. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. Hmm. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> Man, my boy's looking more grown and shit. He's like going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? <laughs> Tim! Cowboy! Sit here! Let's go, bro! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! This is so awesome. Clive has claimed a, a portion of, uh, of the icon uh, Remu's essence. Attuning with uh, Remu not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Thunderstorm, which rains 11 bolts down to all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Oh shit, okay, so... Remu's iconic... Uh, he's got a different gear there, you see that? Blind justice can be used to launch a barrage of ball lightnings at up to nine targets. Sid dies here. Sick. Wait, what? Get out of here, man. That's pretty cool. My boy Clive. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Shit. And I love the area. Love, love, love where we're at right now. Titan senses with God. 
the game that just keeps on giving. That's right. So we were told that the, the story does follow Clive's story from adolescence, or like, you know, childhood to, uh, to adulthood. And I don't, I wonder if, and we'll, we'll get to see Clive as he's actually even older than now. This is technically 18 years after the prologue. You know, just at first it was 13 and then now five. This shit is crazy. More? Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! Come on, man. They brought a pet. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. I look. I love how he took his name. I think it's fast, but guess what? I'm faster. Come here. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it's fast. I'm too slow. Too slow. Maybe I had to wait. Shit. Oh, War Panther. Boy, something. Hey, let's go. Damn it. Oh, fuck off. Sheesh. This game is money, dude. This game is money. This, this is this is money. This is uh. Fuck out of here. Hmm. The hell with this. <laughs> We are the outlaw. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Is it branded? Yeah. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. This what are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. <laughs> <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. 
do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Ungrateful pricks, man. You'd have died. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Where is your ambition, man? Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. night five years ago we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope for a reason they'll never know we cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery though it's to give them a better tomorrow they see only that we've made their lives harder today yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice when Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. So, is he just kind of like representing his name? Or did he really take over his name? Like, he's really calling himself Sid now. Like, for sure. Yo, that's crazy. I mean, it's kind of poetic, to be honest. Pretty cool. Home, sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. So a new crafting Black. recipe is now available at the Black Hammer. Wow. This is insane. Again, a new chapter appears. Now we've got the calm before the storm. As per usual. Yeah. Yay. What? He took over his name. Wow. Ah. Oh, there you are, Clive. But his friends call him Word Clive. Where your adventures arrived this morning? Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? 
There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. <laughs> Really cool up here. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is... How did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. Really? For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor. Mm. A nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Interesting. A lot has happened in five years. You were born in Twinside. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Hmm. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, Adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. They'll speak with the... Okay. Can I speak to her again? What does she have? And how may I assist you today? State of the realm. Ask about Vivian. I do wish our lawsman would consider acquiring some more contemporary <clears throat> volumes. I tire of the classics. Okay, Vivian Ninetales. Not intrigued by your shenanigans at the moment. This, this is gonna be one of those. I mainly, whenever I play, like almost 100% of the time when I play games, I focus solely on main missions. And then I'll probably, like, flirt a little bit here and there with, like, one or two, maybe sometimes over the top. Um. Wait, is this the same area? Oh, it just looks the same, but it's not. It doesn't look the same, but it's like a miniature version of it. Anyways, I was saying, I flirt with the ideals of side quests sometimes more often than not. But, um, <clears throat> with this game, I'm 
I've only done two side quests and it's probably gonna stay that way. I just really wanna get to uh, get the main juice out. If that sounds okay. Lawsman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. Hmm. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Ted does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. So, did they ever yeah, show... We'll be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Did they ever show in the, um... In the promotional art and stuff about... Like, Clive's face like this with that scar? Or was all the promotional image of him with the brand on his cheek? I don't remember. But I love how he just looks so much more mature now. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. Mm. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Mm. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. That's true. She had that scar removed herself as well. What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Wait. Mm. And what can I do for you? <laughs> Long time no see, Grandma. Go on then. Sheesh. All right. So what do we have here? Uh. Damn. She doesn't really have anything too crazy. Disappointing. I'm not much bothered either way. What do you need? This guy also took off is was he branded before and kind of burnt it off as well? I just realized that. Sorry, would it be? Cool. Okay, so if we do this. That's for the eleven bolts. That's a new sword. Holy smokes. No oh. scratches, right? Huh. That's pretty gnarly. Eleven bolts. Bling tongue. 
Okay. Reinforce. Oh shoot, that looks nice. Oh my god, that sword is beautiful. Actually, thank you. Once the hole is swept, so by the way, if we go to abilities, what, what's the deal now? We haven't even come here. Ramu channeled. It's been a while. We have that ability. Okay, that's actually not half bad. We have this one, which is... Do we have that equipped? Ooh, that looks really good. Wow. But this one's good. And then we also have... You know, I'm probably going to disable this fire one. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of it. So, yeah. What is this? We have that equipped. That just basically increases it. And then this, bro, that's massive. That's fucking crazy. Whoa, 2,300. Should I wait? I probably should wait a little bit, right? Yeah. Man. And we have this as well. I'm gonna wait, yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait up on all that stuff. On all that jazz. Clive's Chambers. This is nice. The oath created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forged, and a legacy in her. Damn, that's pretty sad. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm just fucking coughing. I'm still kind of sick. Oh, sorry about that. The reading table reports letters and other important massive addressed uh, missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. The messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk. The Republic's play. Ooh, that's grab. Yeah, look at his eye now. It's crazy. Uh, so the Republic uh, Republican army marches on the Empire. A twin side and the men of the Rock. Have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing. I reckon I'll see you're done to. I'll see you're done to where upon my return. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. 
We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Hmm. So does that mean Joshua died as well? He did. He was there. Hmm. It wasn't an illusion. Wow. I heard him call out to Ultima. Ooh. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that. Okay. That thing. So he's still alive, possibly. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Bro, I love that new sword. It's so sick. Toast <laughs> to a world without mother crystals. To sit. Now it's poisoned and they both die, and the game ends. You imagine. Tell me we're gonna play with Joshua. Do not give me hope. Probably not. And I'm okay with it. And so the North is lost. I'm glad to see he's alive. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this. This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. <laughs> Is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Hmm. He's more of a, like a loner. He's got nobody except one person. Whereas, you know, Clive's got all these people. A moment, if you. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Another person missing now. The gathering storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? Oh, sorry. Nope. Open up. This way. Damn it, Clive. Wait, is it this way? No. Oh, what the heck's going on? Well, whatever. I got that chest. I guess... I guess... It wasn't for nothing opening that door going back there again. We've got to go this way. Okay, I see what's going on. A branded. Another branded. We burned his brand. Seems like that's a cool thing to do around here. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastport, the Empire's been tightening its grip round the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. 
I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Find the curse breakers. Where the heck do we find that? Hmm. Well, there it is. Okay, fast travel. Martha's rest. Is she dead? Probably. Everybody, what happened here? Everybody dies. Come on. We need to find the others. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Does this guy have anything new? He's a merchant, right? Oh, right. do. Hmm. You do not. Take care out there, eh? Thank you, eh? They've killed my bear. I demand. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. A bastard. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Do it. Pursue. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Look sharp! So we have two quests now. What's that? I hit prioritize on one of them. Just Maybe we gotta finish one before the other one pops. Pops up. I see what happens here. Alrighty. Haven't we been here though? Like, I feel like we have been there, but I don't think we could even fast travel there. Okay. Draw punks level 19. This is easy peasy. Can we run a little quicker, please? Look. Oh, up ahead. Is that Isabella? No, Martha. that's Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Oh my gosh. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn black shields. That's what happened. The black shields. The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive. Martha, mm. do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Mm. Is this some sort of twisted joke? 
Perhaps. There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. This one! Go for it! Attack! Come on! Yeah, so these enemies here, based on the location, I think they stay the same, um, the same level. I don't think they go higher up. So, with that said, I guess we'll go ahead and grab this. I don't know if it's a potion or what the heck it is. Three sharp fangs. I thought you lot were all spent. This game is dark, bro. Murderers. Hmm. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. <laughs> <sighs> that bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. Alrighty. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. The fuck is this guy? On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. <laughs> Oh, crap. I'm trying to get the, uh, the magic combo. There we go. I think it's after the combo you press magic, right? This <laughs> one. Yeah, not after a hit. So do one hit. Doesn't really do much. It's gotta be one, two, three, four. Wait, not this guy. This guy's blocking. I think it's like that. So if I go here. Hold on. Yeah. I thought those guys were going to be harder, especially that one dude in the front. I guess they were easy work. Is that all of them? I think so. That was pretty easy. We got 40,000 gil. Are you serious? I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Out through the back then. What happens if we go in here? You guys have any loot here? No. Freaking wild. Alright, so uh destination nearby. Maybe in through here. Or not. Sheesh, bro.
the abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Whoa. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bearers... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Mm. Alright, so we got the mortal remains, is that what it said? So, make for Rid Ridox jump and uh, perform the casting and return to Martha's rest. Alright, so I'm assuming we go through where? Hold on. Follow this path. Yes. And then we can probably, um, after that, we can perhaps just fast travel. Martha's rest is that way, I presume. Oh, that's new. What the frick is that? That's nasty, bro. That's what that is. <laughs> um, God, my coughing is... Bounty. Notorious Marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can uh, earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that can be used to craft new gear. Yep, we're taking it. Do they get spotted us, Torgo? We're taking it all, baby! Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. Oh, what the hell? This shit is not what I was expecting. Get him. 
This little crap is this resilient, but it is a level 25, so. Oh, shit. Too slow, Junior. Too slow, Junior. And that's a rank C. Imagine a rank A or S or whatever the greatest rank for that is. That's like a boss in itself. That's pretty crazy. Alright, so we've got... It didn't really give us anything. I said it was going to give us... Some, coming. I said it was going to give us some good shit, but... Looks like Mike from Monsters, Inc. Was that his... Was, was that his name? I thought I was going to give me like some sort of crazy crafting items or something. All they gave me was just a lot of uh, moolah. Moolah. That must be the bridge. That was what, 5,000 gil was it? Shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea? And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Hmm. All right, so return to Martha's rest. Um, I guess we should just fast travel there, honestly. All right. Yeah, right over here. Let's see how fast the fast travel is from here to there. Should be less than five seconds. And so it is. That's pretty good. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Hmm. 
No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh. You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumours started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Alrighty. We got 45,000. What? Damn, that's a lot. Valuable can be uh, traded for gill. Okay. Dash good. Turn to the hideaway. Alright, let's fast travel there then. Let's see, what do we got? Ah, Clive! How <laughs> I missed that scowl! Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. Mm. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. He means business. Let's go. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath near Ironholm. Drake's Fang in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine in Walud. And Drake's Tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's fang will be left exposed. <coughs> that is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. 
certain if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. <laughs> Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? Otto's counter is not open. What is that? Is that for like bounties and stuff? New facilities? The following hideaway facilities are now available. Hmm. What are we waiting for indeed? Journey at the Hawk's Cry Clip. I hear this So I just want to go here to the autos. Rooms as ragged as little bulletin board and see what, what this says. Oh, and what is this? Desiree. Oh, Clive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean... Someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalog every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your benefactors are a generous lot. Oh, she's a side quest. We'll earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors. Okay. And this is um ability points. Wow. Okay, you get ability points too. Talk of the tea house. Hmm. Accept donation. All yours. Oh shit. Really? <laughs> Not bad. Come again. I may have more for ya. How are you doing? The lion reports. Here you go. Okay, I remember this guy. Okay, hold Maybe on. Can help. Wow, there you are. Hoopo. Uh Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Our mysterious Moogle friend. Nectar, was it? Nectar the Bold, thank you very much. I'll stick with Nectar if it's all the same to you. Hmm. What seems to be the matter? The matter is this. Hoopo. The Hunt Board. Hmm. They're like bounties, right? the Curse right? post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Yeah. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? That's why I need your help, as uh, I need not to remind you, Koopa, I'm the mightiest of all the Moogles. Mughals. I can't read that fast, bro. I'm sorry, you gotta slow down. So I need to slay them all. Right. Well, 
Leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, mm. the people of Alistia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Let's just take a look at the hump board. See if there's any available. So the hump board reports uh, of fiends terrorizing the countryside. So this is technically, those are the fiends with the notorious marks, which is like the one we just defeated. It was pretty ch challenging. Right there. There you have it. Mm. Wow, rank B. Look at that. The Belfagor. Yikes. And it tells you location south of Sorowai's Rosaria and the Broken Hilt Rosaria. Oh, okay, cool. Music says it all, baby. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. Bro, to who, the end. who cuts this guy's hair? It's like perfect. I'm asking for a friend. Bloodlines, huh? Okay, I like the sound of that. So, how far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Hmm. Starting hmm. with the village of Amber. So, where exactly is this? All the way over there. Okay. I'll follow the road. The killing bee. Yeah, oh, all right. Come on already. Yeah. Come on with the nonsense already. Get him. Yeah. That was easy. What is that over there? What the heck is that? Damn it! 
Bro, I can't see this thing when it hits me. There we go. Sheesh. another one right that's the isn't that the dragon that we're supposed to hunt down bro like Come on, leave me alone. <laughs> Why are we fighting birds? Nobody wants to fight birds. Alright guys, let's go. It's not time to be playing with birds. for this quiet you nothing but loyalists Jill look mm -mm. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. <laughs> what business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Hmm. You fancy dancing a gallows? A new merchant, huh? You're a long way from home, aren't you? Eh, kinda, sorta. Is there a problem, huh? Increases limit break, uh, generation by 6% when taking damage. Wow, that's actually not bad. Elixir, really? Insulin restores HP. I'm gonna take two of those. Maybe, maybe one, maybe one. I'm gonna take this. I've got a lot of that crap. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. I suppose we won't be seeing you again. Let me see something. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Hmm. You know what? I'll take... I'll take... Two potions. Much obliged. Excuse me. What was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Hmm. Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. 
Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take oh, We're going hunting for outlaws. Birdshaw would se oh, speak with several villagers. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe this way. This is where the Black Shield people were at. Exactly. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a Black Shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? But what do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a Black Shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't mm. know. But we need to find out. That makes sense. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? Just... We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village. And we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Mm. Sorry, I... <clears throat> it's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha... Who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. <sighs> Alright, so we're making for port... I sold... I sold... This pass will take us through the mountains. Oh, I'll pronounce and that. directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Mm. Come on, we, we need some action now, all right? Like we need the action. Oh, look who it is! Ever since the this ancient uh, or fallen or hunter. Echoes. What do you think is waking them? The mother crystals collapse. I have an idea. If not going to like it. Missed me. See you later, losers. Alright, what are we guys it down here? Yes, we came from the top. Alright, I think these are guys. Yep, they're gonna wake up. I think they should have done a better th animation for the for the for the jumping. Get I've seen a lot of people complain about it. And I gotta agree with them. The jumping is pretty cheesy. <laughs> Get him! Over here! 
Let's go with um. Let's go with this one now. Just for a little bit, a little change of pace. chest I like that even more goblin coin where's the high potion I thought we bought high potion did we not buy high potion what the hell's going on I could have sworn I bought that damn Really could have sworn we bought high potion as well. Aren't it? All right. I guess we got to keep going down straight from here. Oh, there they are. Is that them? Yes, the black shield. More of my. Hey, stupid. so good nobody's dropping any damn potions I don't like it all right we've got some items here on the ground quest destination is nearby let's see oh. Oh, sharp fang damn it Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. Hmm. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. Ah, uh, they never learn. I'll show you a true shield. They never learn. They just don't learn. <laughs> Black 
Black shield my oh shit. Black shield my ass. This way. Taking more damage than all of them. Probably gonna go to the little source here. Where is he? Get him. Where is he? There he is. Little bastard. I was looking for him. Over here. This one. Get him. Touched the ground in like seven seconds. <laughs> I feel your pain, bro. I just played Mortal Kombat earlier and I got cracked like that and it sucks. But hey, sometimes you give some, sometimes uh, you receive it. So it's part of the game it's called life. Take some, you do. No, Tell me what some. I want to the okay. end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you, we come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. They await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. All righty. Closer and closer we get. No potions, though. Hey, this game's been greedy with the potions lately. Shit. Holes and stuff. Just freaking. Whoa. This was my mother's doing. You gotta kill her, bro. I'm sorry. It's gone too far now. But why? Why would anyone? I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this. Oh, Clive. I will learn what madness drives her, and I will end it. We should go. Yes. Mm. 
We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. To loot here, is there? No, I don't think so. They're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. There's more people over there. I think we're gonna have to fight now. That might be a civilian or something. <laughs> yeah. Another stable. the 250th anniversary of the founding of the Grand Duchy of Rosario. Well, 250th anniversary. But this is their home. I love when the music changes, you know? To like that darker tone. Quiet sands. Destroy these stupid little. Over here. Let me grab this if you guys don't mind. opinion. I just think it's like once you have those gauges filled it's it's you're better off the Lazarus. using it. What happened to this place? My mother happened. <laughs> the nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. My mother I told my uncle fared better. Man, my, my throat today is itching. You know, like when you have to cough, like, ah, oh, dude, it's so annoying. It's like, that's why I'm not talking much. Every time I talk, it's like, I need that's a cough. Gate. It sucks. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Is that so? All right, we're getting closer to, to the shenanigans. through unnoticed we'll need to find another way in you mean to tell me they can't see us from there I thought we might be able to reason with the guards or at least bribe them I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same was that the only way in officially yes strictly speaking no my uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. That gate? We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. 
Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Black light burns. New quest, is it? Yeah. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. So we go to the Lazarus district. I think there was... Oh, that's the gate I was thinking about. Is there another one over there? That, yeah, okay, it was this one. Yeah. This looks pretty nice. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. It's definitely not through here. Most likely down this way. Not abandoned then. Hmm. Oi! Visitors! Come on, guys. Hmm. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Really? Really? Oh, not. <laughs> Damn, I feel bad. What? You guys asked for it. Stop the nonsense, man. I'm <laughs> always so crazy. Done. Should have stayed home, man. You see a handsome man with a big sword, a wolf, and another woman. Are you crazy? Clearly, you're gonna die. I've only ever seen one man fight like that, and he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. <laughs> Yo. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Oh, we didn't kill him. Okay, good. Uh, all right. Me, my Lord. Starting to regroup. I knew all right. Whom I addressed. <laughs> you have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. <laughs> we can speak inside. I thought I thought we killed all those people. I mean, shit. Just put them to sleep. All right, that works. <laughs> that, that works, I guess. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But, we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. 
The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. All right. It's go time. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. Mm. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. You know what, bro? I'm gonna buy potions just in case. Allow me to tend to your needs, my lord. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna buy it just in case. Where is it? My potion. Yeah. Of course, my lord. Thank you. She could be giving me that for free. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Now let's do it. Let's go.
Party members throughout the main scenario Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lending their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind or at the hideaway. Is he coming with us? Oh, okay. I thought freaking Jill was gonna stay. I'm like, no, you, you're coming with us. The blessing of the Phoenix go with you. We need you here, Jill. How so, long have you been pursuing the Black Shield? We're good. Since they burned their first village, we tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, shit, okay. Sideways. They move this way, huh? I guess the black shield must be over there. Officially. There they are. On your command, my lord. Bro, no command. Just attack. Just go. Like we good. Let's go. Let's fuck them up. <laughs> what is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! Sure. For Azaria! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. Sorry, boys. On these our swords, we swear. Hey, you asked for it, not me. <laughs> Bloody hell. Reinforcements from the far That's back. That's it. <laughs> oh, not that fucking dragon. That stupid Get dragon. Him. No. I want to be part of that. No. -uh. Yeah. Take out the small fry first. Yes. And then we'll go for the dragon, all of us. How annoying that fucking thing. More dragons. More dragons? What do you mean more dragons? I can't say I'm flat. Wow, dude. I should have I should have waited on the elixir. I I took it like a dumbass. And I probably deserve everything that's happened to it. Yep. This is small! You guys are trash. Man, I thought there was like the big dragons again. I was like, alright, we're in trouble, but... Oh, shit. A noble stand. Albeit a misguided one. We might be in trouble. In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. We good, bro. Get him. We good. We good, bro. This is like that guy we fought in the very first episode. It's like the night type of enemy. Predictable. See that? Oh, he's gonna come up with raining down. Okay, he hit me. I think he was gonna be able to do that, but okay.
there's no one left to keep them occupied. We need to finish this. You mean finish him? Slow. Oh shit! Over here! I'm actually getting nervous because by the time we get to like a real boss, I don't know what's going to happen because these dudes are getting crazy. I mean, it, it's always like a very thin line, you know? You should be able to do it. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My... Ah, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home, and we must fight for it, as we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die, and her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he died. Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Alright guys. Man, we're almost closing in on four hours for this video, if I'm not mistaken. And Oof, sheesh. It's hot as balls. Let me turn on the air. Extremely hot here. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. Well... I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience. Especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. Famously dead. I might have something which could help with the latter. Charm or something? This third it's one the we mark receive. Of the guardians. Mark. Display it and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I am Rosaria, man. I'm a lord. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. 
or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. Go on now, my lord. I kind of wish that we could see the marks, like, when they give them to you. Like, you don't even see it on the uniform. Or on the gear. At least I haven't spotted it yet. Hmm. So we're here. Port, uh... I sold. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Mossfield Manor. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. <laughs> All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. He means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. <laughs> Clive Rosfield died long ago. Wow. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. Is this a glitch? What is happening? You would mock me as well. <laughs> it is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot. Oh, it's not a loyal glitch. servant to her serene holiness, Saint Sybil, the Unshard. I didn't see his sword in the back, so I'm like, what's happening? Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown. I shall have thy head. Yeah. Wow. Oh man, that's cool. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell, that thou might see thy charge once more. Wow, oh, he's crying. That's cool, man. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> You always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. Hmm. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. <laughs> Sir 
So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more <laughs> about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> yeah. Why then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me.
Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. <laughs>